I don't know if this guy's still alive. This guy should have died right here on the pitch. It's crazy. So FIFA 21 has landed, and I know for a fact that you want a sweaty team. So if you head over to Yoha right now, link in the description, and use my discount code GONF, you'll get a discount. I'm gonna throw a quick warning out there before you even begin to watch today's video. If you don't like blood, and you don't like head clashes, and you've got a weak stomach, I wouldn't even bother. Just click off now. 3,000 likes on today's video, and I'll give someone a PS5. I've already given away none, but I'll give away one today if you hit 3,000 likes. Let's, let's go. Let's start with the most recent clip of the whole video. This literally happened about two weeks ago. Raul Jimenez and David Luiz. Now anyone who knows David Luiz knows David Luiz is a savage. He'll happily end your career. He'll happily break your leg. He'll he happily poke you in the eye, poke you up the ass. He's just a bit of a prick. So, I mean, him headbutting Jimenez in the head and fracturing his skull and potentially ending his career is no surprise to me because David Luiz is crazy. He's always been crazy. I mean, just look at his hair. And I mean, Manchester United have to be the only team in the planet with two centre backs so fucking stupid, like Maguire and Eric Bai, that they headbutt each other. I get it, it happens in football. Players headbutt each other. Players injure their own players. But when it's Man United and it's Harry Maguire, you, you, you must think, can I just get a break? Can I just catch a break here, man? <laughs> oh my, it's just embarrassing. Not only are you shite, you're also injuring your own teammates. Pack it in, Maguire, honestly. Pack it in, bro. <laughs> He's had a mare. Disclaimer. There's a lot of blood, and it's not nice. This this one is not nice at all. This this is you know the thumbnail you've seen in today's video. It ain't clickbait. It actually genuinely happened, and you're gonna see it in today's video. The dude's name is Damangoj Vida. Is Croatian as it gets. I mean, just look at look at this guy. He says, he, "What is a Croatian? A cro, Croat, a Croat, whatever he is." I mean. If you looked in an encyclopedia or a dictionary of Croatia, this picture of this don't even pop up. And this yeah, video as well. I mean, there's so much blood coming from the guy's head. I'm wondering how much did he lose? Is he okay? Is, how did he carry on playing football? Absolute lunatic, I'm telling you. Jesus Christ. Then we have the worst head injury I've ever seen. The worst head clash I've ever seen in football history to this day. I've still never, ever, ever seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. It's the worst of the worst. If you've got a weak stomach, don't even bother. Don't even try this clip because it's going to ruin you. This is going to play on your mind all day long. It is. I don't know if this guy's still alive. This guy should have died right here on the pitch. It's crazy. It ain't this guy. It's the guy he did it to, but he ain't on FIFA. Michael Timlin, his name is. And Dembele just went... 3,000 miles an hour, like a car crash, literally. It, the more you watch this clip, the more you're gonna realize you really are a sick bastard, the fact that you're replaying this clip. Uh, you really are sick. Mate, that is outrageous on, I don't know what scale. On, you could go on, remember the website Ogrish, rotten.com? You could put that on there, you could upload that to LiveLeak. Jesus, that is evil. Gary Cahill was involved in one of the biggest, saddest football moments in Premier League history. It was a clip with Gary Cahill and a player called Ryan Mason. Absolutely no one's to blame here. It was just two of them, they went up for the header. Gary Cahill was going for the ball. Mason was going for the ball. Mason came worse off and was actually told that he'll never play Premier League football or any football ever again. And you can imagine a player that's in his prime. He was young, he definitely wasn't to the end of his career. You can just imagine how devastating, like one simple head injury, what it can do to your whole career. So yeah, with a heavy hat, we are looking at this clip, but I gotta say, this is not one that I enjoy watching because I just, I feel for the guy. I actually feel for the guy. It's just devastating how one head injury can end your whole life. Next one actually comes from the Scottish League. It's a dude called Johansson. Celtic versus I think it might have been Motherwell. Two players going for the ball. It looks like there's not a lot of contact, but both of them ended up busted up. Like this, you look at this, you think, oh, that's pussy compared to what I've seen today. 
No. These two came out busted. Blood everywhere, broken noses. Literally just a tap of two heads together or a head and a nose and a head and anything. Causes big problems. Put some name on Olivia Giroud's name right now. Put some name on Olivia Giroud's name. That doesn't make any sense. No. Put some respect on Olivier Giroud's name. The dude's about to be France's highest top goal scorer, which even I can't get my head around, but you know, that's football. Giroud, France's top goals, can you believe it? Can you fucking believe it? All jokes aside, Giroud is a goal scorer. He may not look like one and he may not play like one, but he gets the job done. He's like a shit version of Harry Kane and He's doing a good job for Chelsea and a good job for France, but it was a game he was playing for France where he got me. This is bad. This is like, when you get head butted like that, oh, it's, it, it's hard to watch. It makes your stomach turn, bro. A lot of blood, and Giroud did recover and ran around the pitch with one of those big white bandages around his head looking like an absolute banana. But, you know, hats off. Giroud is doing bits. Fair play to the guy. I don't know how. I don't know how. Do you remember when Lukaku was playing for Manchester United? This head injury was nasty. He got hit in the head, in the back of his head, stood up, done a stanky leg, and then just fell to the floor and was just gone, bro. Like, the guy was just finished. He was on the floor, knocked out. But it's the way he, like, wobbled, lost control, lost balance, and just ended up clean on the floor. You're thinking to yourself, Big, hard, black Lukaku, surely not. Trust me, when it comes to head injuries, nobody is safe. You gotta watch out, bro. Oh, poor old Eric Garcia. Got his first ever game for Manchester City, and Edison absolutely ended his whole life. Made the kid never wanna play football again. You know, he got his big caller. You know, look at him, 2001, what is he, 20? Got his big caller. And all of a sudden, Edison just went. Good night! Safe! See ya! <laughs> Sick bastard. I mean, oh, the poor lad. The poor, poor lad. Who knows if he'll ever come back and play for Man City again? He's probably too scared. That is like. I, I think it was. I don't, I don't know if it was a clash of heads. It was something in his head, though. Might have been the bottom of Edison's boots, an elbow, a knee. Right. Another one that's gonna fuck you up bad. Like this one, I wasn't even gonna include it. I only found one clip on YouTube of it as well and it was someone recording their TV. This, I don't even know if they banned this off YouTube. This is bad, man. I'm just gonna shut up. Oh my God. You can rewind and watch that over and over again. That is bad. This, I don't know how Mackay Stevens is never, let alone still on FIFA. The guy's smiling. I have no idea. Jesus Christ. I'm thinking, if I was watching that live on TV, I'm thinking, do you know what? I'm about to already compose an RIP tweet on Twitter. But do you know what? Gone but not forgotten, bro. There's no way he's recovered from that. The guy has been headbutted so hard in the head. He's knocked out clean on the floor. How has he came back and how is he alive? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. And of course, last but definitely not least, another sick one for you sickos. Fernando Torres when he got knocked out for Atletico Madrid so bad they almost didn't bring him back as an icon because they thought he was dead this guy he was on the floor literally dying I think I'm not sure what was going on they tried to pull his tongue out but he was knocked out cold he was a goner bro oh my goodness Jesus Christ watching these clips is like it's, it's painful I don't want to do it but then I know I gotta do it because you lot wanna see it. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm not doing that again. So don't ask me in the comments, please.